warning there. There we go. Uh, and you, for a second, you're going to freak out when you see this clip, because for just a second, Alyssa Farah, who is the quote unquote conservative on the show, but she's a pet conservative. They give her, they tap her on the head and give her a cookie at the end. And, you know, they'll all throw her under the bus once she gets fired. And I do hope it's worth the 200 grand a year for three years or whatever she's getting on it um, to sell your soul. You know, you probably should negotiate it more when you're selling your soul. You get a better, better agent. But anyway, uh, she's going to make sense for a second. Alyssa Farah is going to kind of make sense for a second. And then Sonny Hostin talks. So you'll figure out the rest. Quick, though, two things can be true at once. Yesterday was a bad day for Donald Trump, the first indicted former president. I want to see this guy held accountable. This case is not taking Donald Trump down. And I say that for a couple of reasons. How do you know that? There was, well, just real quick, there was no conspiracy charge, which a lot of folks were looking to see that if there was. That was a hard charge to prove. It, the felony ch uh, charges, they, the max sentence is four years, but this is a first time offender. It's a nonviolent crime. It's a class E felony. Every legal expert I've talked to has said most likely a fine and probation if he's even convicted. I'll tell convicted. you why you're wrong as this legal expert. That is, that is wrong. And I, I will he's tell not you, going to jail I, over this. I will this. tell, you, not why, going to jail I, I will tell you why you're wrong. Prosecutors are not only in the business of prosecuting crimes, we're in the business of sending out a message. If you let the President of the United States be found guilty of one to 34 counts even if they're misdemeanors, and he gets to go home scot-free, you're sending it's a message. It's not scot-free. We're just the, saying it's going to be a fine and probation. A message it won't be to the country. Time. Correct. Well, not yet. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not going to happen. All right. First off, just Sonny Hostin's general tone. And that's what I'm saying. Alyssa, you think they like you now, and you, you know they don't really like you, like they're just using you. But the way that Sonny Hostin talks down to people, like literally with her nose up down to people, she's so profoundly unpleasant, but okay, let that be. What's interesting is she's saying that you should prosecute to send a message. Now that's interesting because now I would say, and I think most people who believe in equality under the law, believe that you should be prosecuting based on the laws that are on the books. So if you, I don't know, let's say murder somebody, uh, everyone who murders somebody should be treated equally under the law. And you should have to prove that they did it. They have a chance to prove that they are not guilty. And that's how it should work. But you should prosecute to send a message. Hmm. It took us literally 0 0.002 seconds to find this from the New Yorker. On Alvin Bragg's third day as Manhattan District Attorney in January 2021, he stated that his office would no longer prosecute low-level offenses such as subway fare evasion, resistance to arrest, or prostitution unless they were part of an accompanying felony charge. So if you are sending a message, if that's what prosecution is about, then this guy has said to New Yorkers, jump the turnstiles, be prostitutes, uh, resist arrest. I mean, the idea that resisting arrest would be something that wouldn't get you in trouble is absolutely insane. So, well, I guess if you're a prostitute and they were about to arrest you and now you can not only not get arrested for prostitution, but you can also basically smack the cop in the face. So what was the message that Alvin Bragg has been sending to New Yorkers? It was break the law.